So good evening everyone. Thank you very much for uh, joining me at this time in this tutorial first of all. So that's the product I'm going to present before you guys today in this tutorial. It's the dictionary I have developed using simple Python coding and the libraries I have used for creating this uh, dictionary is our Django and the other one is Py dictionary. Let me just show you that. So these are the two libraries I have used. Now for accessing this complete project, you can visit my YouTube channel uh, and here in the description section of this video, you will find this Google Drive link. So you can download the complete project through this link. So it will redirect you to a Google Drive uh, folder in which you will find all these files. Right, so you can put them. See, these are the five files you can download and you can put them into a folder uh, uh, with name English Dictionary. Right, let me just show you how you have to exactly put these dictionaries and where you have to put uh, sorry how you have to put these folders inside this english dictionary named folder and where you have to create this folder named english dictionary so you have to come inside this folder first which is python 3832 right i have python 3.8 installed on my device so that's the folder uh, which got created automatically when i downloaded and installed python 3.8 on my device if you are using 3.10 maybe the folder name uh, must be something else but you have to find that folder in which all your python scripts and libraries are present now inside that folder you have to create a new folder with this name english dictionary and then you can put all these files which you are able to see over here like this inside this english dictionary named folder now how you will run this product that is what I'm going to show you later on but first of all I would like to show you how this uh, dictionary works and how it looks like so this is how the dictionary looks like and here uh, is an input box now we can put the word here for which we would like to find out the meaning and then we can hit this search button let's see what is this project going to do for us so that's what it has done for us it has redirected us to a new page right and you can see here the meaning of that word which i just put into this input box is getting reflected over here right now let's try some other word i am trying this weather now So this is how this application works and it's a very beautiful application. It's very easy to understand. Right now, how can you run this project? That is what I would like to help you first. Let me first break the server and you need to open this command prompt and then you need to set the path of this project in this command prompt so that it can uh, you know identify this manage.py file present in this english dictionary named folder so simply you can type in this command cd so right now we are inside this gaurav named folder if you want to go inside this app data named folder we need to type in app data like this sorry the spelling is not correct of this app data now for coming into this local named folder we can type cd local then it is programs sorry again then it is python then we have python 38 32 then we have english dictionary Right, so we are inside this English dictionary named folder on this prompt. 
Now it's time for us to run this manage.py. So for that, we can use this command python manage.py and then we can put this run server over here. Let's run this project. So we are currently trying to access the server. So the server uh, ha is now running and we can see our uh, you know, see the output of this project on this URL 127.0.0.1 colon 8000. So now you have to come on your browser and simply you can type uh, this URL here in the URL part of the browser and that is what it is going to redirect you to. Now instead of putting in, instead of uh, my name, if you want to see your name, you have to just make the changes in this in these two files, so these are the HTML files with which uh, this web page have been created. Right now, I can change the name from here. Right, simply if you want to change the view of this complete web page, you can do that too. It's a simple CSS HTML coding that have been used here in this uh, uh, index.html page and word.html page. Right. So then you can type in a word and you can search for its meaning and that's what it will redirect you to. So this is another page on which I have used the same coding which is there on this index.html. Uh, however, here I have used the only difference between these two uh, pages is that here I have not used any uh, JavaScript coding, but on this word.html, I have used a Java code here for fetching the meaning which is coming from here, right? So, this Python code which we have in this views.py file is linked to this, uh, uh, you know, HTML code through this code I am able to fetch the meanings and I am able to show the meaning of the word to the user over here like this. Right. So now let's come on this English dictionary project files first. Let's understand this project. Let's understand the code of this project. So here in this urls.py I have used this include, right, then dictionary.urls, I created another, uh, a, a new file, a new python file with name urls.py, which I included over here, right, so basically path is used for defining the path where of the urls folder, of the url is uh, python file which is there present in this dictionary named application, right? If you have seen my previous tutorials of Django or you know about Django or you are familiar with Django, you will be able to understand these projects. Otherwise, you can take the coding classes and you can, you know, we can start right from the scratch and then uh, you know, we'll, I'll tell you about everything related to HTML, everything related to CSS, JavaScript, Python, and then how can you combine together all these four languages using Django for creating amazing application like the one which you are able to see over here right now. Then uh, from in this urls.py, we have defined the required paths for the index and the word HTML documents. Now from here uh, in the settings.py for linking this dictionary named application with this English dictionary named project, uh, we have defined this thing over here, dictionary, right? We need to give, we need to tell this dictionary named English dictionary named project that this is the name of the application uh, which we are working on, right? In which all the application files are present. Then that's the code which you have to uh, define over here for this DIRS value, right? 
templates I have used here. Why? Because that's the folder in which both the HTML files are there. Then urls.py, we have already covered it. Views.py contains all the code which is helping us in uh, you know pulling the input which the user is giving us in this input box and then finding out the meaning of that particular word in this pi dictionary then providing the javascript code the meaning of that word so that it can reflect it can show us it can show the user the meaning of that word so that is how uh, we i have developed this beautiful dictionary i hope you guys enjoyed this lecture a lot do not forget to like and share this video in your groups and also please uh, let me know in case you come across any issue while uh, developing or creating this application on your own thank you so very much for joining me at this time in this tutorial Bye-bye and take care all of you. Have a good day.